Imagine being so skillful that even the keenest eyes couldn't tell your deception. This was the infamous Han van Meegeren, a man whose artistry would shake the art world to its core. Henricus Antonius, known by most as Han van Meegeren, was a Dutch painter whose works were not merely creations of beauty, but intricate webs of deception. With a stroke of his brush, he was able to recreate the magic of the Dutch Golden Age, so much so that the leading art experts of his time were fooled into believing his creations were genuine masterpieces from the era. Van Meegeren's story is not one of a simple art forger. It's a tale of a man driven by the need to prove his worth. Despite his talent, his original works were often dismissed by art critics, who found little value in his style and technique. But Van Meegeren was not a man to be easily defeated, he decided to prove his prowess by doing the unthinkable, forging paintings that could deceive even the most discerning eyes. His forgeries were more than mere imitations, they were perfect replicas, capturing the essence, style and technique of the original artists. From the texture of the canvas to the subtle nuances of color, every detail was meticulously crafted to mirror the original. His skill was so impeccable that he managed to sell one of his forgeries to none other than Hermann Goering, a leading figure of the Nazi regime, during the occupation of the Netherlands. But Van Meegeren's journey took an unexpected turn when he was arrested for selling national treasures to the Nazis. In a surprising confession, he revealed that the paintings he had sold were not genuine masterpieces but forgeries of his own creation. This revelation shocked the art world. Van Meegeren was convicted and sentenced to a year in prison, however fate had other plans, and he passed away shortly after. His tale is one of talent, deception, and an unexpected twist of fate. It's a story that reminds us of the fine line between genius and deceit, and how one man managed to blur that line with his art. Born in 1889, Han van Meegeren, like many great artists, started with humble beginnings. Nestled in the heart of the Netherlands, young Han was brought into the world in a time of burgeoning creativity. Art pulsed through his veins from an early age, his passion for creating evident in the strokes of his paintbrush. Growing up, Han was a dedicated student of the arts. He spent countless hours engrossing himself in the works of the Dutch Golden Age, his eyes drinking in the mastery of artists like Vermeer and Rembrandt. In his heart, he aspired to join their ranks, to have his name whispered in the same breath as these paragons of Dutch artistry. Despite his aspirations, the path to recognition was not smooth. Han worked tirelessly, pouring his heart and soul into his paintings, each piece a testament to his dedication and skill. But the art world, it seemed, had its own ideas. His work, rather than being met with the acclaim he yearned for, was met with dismissive comments and harsh criticism. His style, they said, was outdated, his technique lacking the innovation of his contemporaries. The world of art, often a sanctuary for the misunderstood, seemed to reject Han, casting him aside as an artist of little consequence, this dismissal however did not quell his passion, instead it fueled a determination within him, a burning desire to prove his critics wrong. Each rejection became a stepping stone, each criticism a challenge to be overcome. Han's passion for art was not simply a hobby or a pastime, it was his life's calling. He was not content to sit back and watch his dreams fade into obscurity. Frustrated and eager to prove his talent, Van Meegeren started a journey that would lead him down a path of deception. A path that would, in time, reveal his true genius, and expose the fallibility of the art world's gatekeepers. But that, dear listeners, is a story for the next chapter. In a world that refused to recognize his talent, Van Meegeren found a way to make them see. In the face of constant dismissal and rejection, he turned to a path less traveled. A path that would eventually lead him to infamy. Van Meegeren, in his thirst for recognition and validation, began to forge paintings, not just any paintings, but those from the celebrated Dutch Golden Age, a period that saw the likes of Vermeer and Rembrandt, artists whose work was revered and admired by many. He did not just copy these masterpieces, no, that would be too simple, too easy to detect. Van Meegeren studied their techniques, their brushstrokes, the way they played with light and shadow. He delved deep into the minds of these masters, understanding their perspective, their vision, he became a student of their artistry, learning, adapting, and then creating. His forgeries were not mere replicas, they were a testament to his understanding of these artists, his ability to mimic their style so convincingly that even the leading experts of the time were fooled. The art world was enraptured by these lost masterpieces, hailing them as genuine works from the Dutch Golden Age. 
they were exhibited in galleries sold in auctions admired by many, all the while oblivious to the fact that these were not the works of long-dead artists, but the creations of a living, breathing man, yearning for recognition. Van Meegeren had achieved what he set out to do, he found a way to make the world see his talent, to make them appreciate his work, but of course, there was a catch. They were not admiring Van Meegeren's work, they were admiring the work of Vermeer Rembrandt, the masters of the Dutch Golden Age. Little did they know they were admiring the work of the 20th century's most notorious art forger. As the world was embroiled in war, Van Meegeren saw an opportunity. The globe was held in the vice-like grip of the Second World War, and the Netherlands was under Nazi occupation. This period of history was marked by fear, uncertainty, and a struggle for survival. But amidst this chaos, one man found a way to turn the situation to his advantage. This man was Han van Meegeren, a painter whose work was largely dismissed by the art world. Van Meegeren, a masterful art forger, had honed his deceptive craft to such an extent that he was able to create paintings that fooled even the most discerning of art experts. He had skillfully replicated the style of the Dutch Golden Age, and his works were accepted as genuine by leading authorities of the time. But Van Meegeren didn't just replicate the art, he sold it too. And one of his most infamous sales was to none other than Hermann Goering, a high-ranking Nazi officer. Goering, known for his ruthless ambition and insatiable appetite for fine art, was a prime target for Van Meegeren's deception. Under the guise of selling a long-lost masterpiece, Van Meegeren successfully sold a forgery to Goering. This was no small feat, the painting had to be convincing enough to fool not only Goering, but also the numerous art experts in his employ. Yet Van Meegeren pulled it off, selling the forged painting for a hefty sum, and, perhaps more importantly, proving to himself and the world that his work was as good as the masters he emulated. While the world was consumed by the horrors of war, Van Meegeren's audacious act of deception went unnoticed. He continued his lucrative forgery business, duping buyers out of an estimated total of more than $30 million. In the midst of chaos, Van Meegeren's deception went unnoticed. His trickery was a testament to both his skill as a forger and the extraordinary circumstances of the time. But as we'll see in the next scene, even the greatest acts of deception can't stay hidden forever. After the war, a shocking revelation would stun the art world. As the dust of World War II settled, a twist in the tale was set to make headlines. Henricus Antonius Han Van Meegeren, the once dismissed artist, now acclaimed for his Dutch Golden Age masterpieces was arrested. Not for his stunning artistry, but for an unthinkable crime. Selling cultural property to the Nazis. As the world recoiled, the charges hung heavy. The painting in question? A supposed Johannes Vermeer masterpiece that had been sold to none other than Hermann Goering, a leading member of the Nazi party. But Van Meegeren, cornered and desperate, had yet another surprise up his sleeve. In a move that would shake the art world to its core, he confessed. The painting he claimed was no Vermeer, instead it was a work of forgery, a product of his own hands and cunning. The art world gasped. Hermann Goering who had prided himself on his magnificent acquisition, had been duped. Duped by a man who had once been dismissed by art critics, a man who had turned their rejection into his redemption. His confession sent ripples through the art world. The masterpiece, once thought to be a long-lost Vermeer, was now just another Van Meegeren. The critics who had once scoffed at his work were left red-faced, their expertise called into question. The art world had been fooled, and the man they had rejected was behind it all. And so, as Van Meegeren sat in his prison cell awaiting a sentence that would never be served, he couldn't help but smile. His art, once dismissed, had fooled the best. His work, once scorned, had been hung in prestigious galleries and sold for millions. His talent, once overlooked, had tricked even the most discerning of eyes. In a world that had once rejected him, Van Meegeren had the last laugh. Convicted and sentenced, Van Meegeren's story didn't end in the courtroom. With the truth of his art forgery revealed, Henricus Antonius Hahn Van Meegeren was arrested for selling cultural property to the Nazis during World War II. His confession shocked the world, but the tale didn't stop there. The trial was a spectacle, the world watching as the man who fooled art critics and Nazi officials alike was brought to justice. Despite the gravity of his actions, Van Meegeren managed to maintain an air of defiance almost reveling in the chaos he had created. He was convicted, and his sentence? A single year in prison. But fate had a different plan. Just as the world was coming to terms with the extent of Van Meegeren's deception, tragedy struck. The master forger, 
the man who had upended the art world, died shortly after his conviction. He never served his time, his life cut short, leaving behind a legacy of deceit, brilliance, and intrigue. But the aftermath of Van Meegren's actions stretched far beyond his own life. The scale of his forgery was staggering. It is estimated that he duped buyers out of more than $30 million. Yes, you heard that right. $30 million. His forgeries were so convincing that they were accepted as genuine masterpieces from the Dutch Golden Age by leading experts of the time. His story serves as a reminder of the power of art, the fragility of authenticity, and the lengths to which one man went to prove his talent. Van Meegeren's life might have been marked by deceit, but it was also marked by a strange kind of genius. His ability to mimic the styles of great artists to fool the world is undeniably impressive. Even in death, Van Meegeren's legacy lived on. His story continues to captivate, a testament to human ingenuity, audacity, and the enduring allure of art. From his early struggles to his final act of defiance, Van Meegeren's tale is an unforgettable chapter in the annals of art history. Van Meegeren's tale is one of deceit, but it's also a tale of the art world's vulnerability. His story is a stark reminder that even the most discerning eyes can be fooled, and the most trusted methods of authentication can be manipulated. Van Meegeren's forgery spree sent shockwaves through the art world, shaking the foundations of trust and authenticity that the industry was built upon. His ability to replicate the styles of the Dutch Golden Age with such precision raised questions about the reliability of expert opinion and authentication processes. After all, if a forger could fool the world's leading art experts, who could we trust? His actions led to a significant shift in how art is authenticated. No longer could the art world rely solely on the eyes and knowledge of a select few experts. Instead they had to embrace scientific methods and technology to verify the authenticity of artworks. Techniques such as infrared imaging and radiocarbon dating became commonplace in the art authentication process, providing tangible evidence of an artwork's age and origin. Moreover, Van Meegeren's story underscored the need for rigorous provenance research. The history of an artwork, its chain of ownership now became as important as the artwork itself. This led to an increase in the demand for provenance researchers, adding a new layer of complexity to the art world. Beyond the technical changes, Van Meegeren's deception also had a profound psychological impact on the art world. It instilled a sense of caution, a reminder to question, to probe deeper, and to not take things at face value. This skepticism, while born out of a scandal has arguably made the art world more robust and vigilant. In the end, Han Van Meegeren will forever be remembered as the man who fooled the world with his brush. He may have been a forger but his actions inadvertently led to a more rigorous and scientific approach to art authentication. His story serves as a reminder of the art world's vulnerability, but also its capacity for growth and transformation. The story of Han van Meegeren is a reminder of the thin line between genius and deception. This Dutch painter, who once sought recognition for his talent, found fame in a way no one could have predicted. His journey from an aspiring artist to one of the most ingenious art forgers of his time is a tale that continues to intrigue and astonish. Van Meegeren's audacious act of selling a forged painting to none other than Hermann Goering during the Nazi occupation of the Netherlands and his subsequent confession sent ripples through the art world. His forgeries so expertly crafted fooled leading experts of the time and even today, they continue to raise questions on the authenticity of artworks from the Dutch Golden Age. The impact of his actions was profound, he not only duped buyers out of millions but also challenged the very perception of art. His story serves as a stark reminder of the power of art, the allure of deception, and the extraordinary lengths one can go to prove a point. As we delve into the vast world of art, let us remember the man who painted a picture of deception so brilliantly, it became a masterpiece of its own.